Hi, I'm Elliot, you're watching 3D Explain, and in today's episode, we're going to go over directed energy deposition. For the rest of the episode, I'll be referring to directed energy deposition as DED. DED is a type of metal 3D printing which can use either wired or powdered materials. These metals are melted thanks to the energy provided by a plasma arc, a laser or an electron beam. In some ways, you can think of DED as a kind of welder on a robotic arm. Compared to other metal AM technologies, DED has the capacity to use only the material needed. Compared to metal PBF, for example, where all the material is heated up and can be altered, DED only heats up the material it needs to print. DED is also a fast process, able to manufacture very large metal parts in a few hours or days. Furthermore, DED ensures easy material changes and refills. As we said earlier, DED can use different material types and power sources, meaning you can find DED printers that print powders or wires using either an electron beam, plasma arc or laser. On top of these different energy sources, DED can be configured in a coaxial or lateral setup. DED prints can come out a bit rough. This technology is not particularly known to have a great resolution, so machining a DED print to have a perfect finish is a common practice. DED is the perfect candidate for repairing a wide variety of metal parts, ranging from jigs to turbines. Because of its high machine price, its safety considerations and printer size, DED is more than often reserved for big industry. Though it's predominantly used for repairs, it's also useful to print large metal parts compared to other metal AM technologies. A good example of this is Relativity Space, who prints actual rockets for SpaceX thanks to DED. What do you think of Directed Energy Deposition, aka DED, and how it's being used to manufacture rockets? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you soon for our next episode on 3 Explain.